Welcome to our presentation of Bentley's Capital Project Management System. In our presentation today, we'll be going through our cost controls, document controls, and our innovative collaborative platform. The Bentley solution helps connect your entire project team electronically, resulting in reduced capital project costs, faster project execution, and reduced project risks. Now within the Bentley Capital Project Management System, one of our unique innovations is the ability to connect the entire project team electronically. So what our application does in bringing up a new project is it allows you to bring on all the project participants. By connecting the team electronically, we're eliminating the redundant data entry and the manual processes that are error prone in the industry. So for example here, I can bring on my contractors, I can bring on my consultants, designers, regulatory agencies, stakeholders, anybody that I'm working with, I can add to the system so I can securely share and exchange information electronically. Now with the application, there's no limitation on project participants. So for example, when I add my contractor, I can give them their permissions, and then they can go ahead and bring on their subs and suppliers. This way I'm connecting the entire supply chain so I can actually capture information at the source. Now with the application, each project participant has full control. So for example, if my civil subcontractor here fills out an RFI and turns it into my prime, they can review it, and if it's incomplete or inaccurate, they can actually return it back to the civil sub. If that RFI is ready to go, they can pass it on to myself here at the owner-operator. I can route it to my designers, and then they can send it out to the subs or whoever needs to go for review. Not only do they control that initial uh, request, the RFI, but they can also control the responses. So for example, my sub-consultants, I could capture multiple RFI comments, merge them together, here's the prime designer, and then send a final response back to my client. Now as this information travels across the project team, we're automatically logging who did what when. So who read the information, sent it, responded to it, is all automatically logged in the application. So there's no need for you guys to waste time or energy on transmittals or document audit logs because it's all maintained by the application. Now one of the keys to capturing high quality information and ensuring that information moves across the team is our configured forms. For example, if we bring up a submittal here, we're going to take a look at an example submittal form here. And this submittal form, it's going to show you, for example, the document numbering and the revisions and the dates. One of the things we want to do with our forms is we want to capture high quality information. We want to capture it at the source. So this way, whether it's a prime or a sub or a supplier on the project, they can all complete the form and submit the exact information that's required. Now, some of the unique things about our forms is they're completely configurable. So your numbering schemes can be based on it. Do you want to do an auto number, manual number, predefined master list? This is all configured by our clients with our professional services team. Even the version controls. Do you want to do one, two, three, or ABCs here in the system? Now with our forms, we go a step beyond traditional just capturing data. We want to capture high quality data here in the system. So for example, we allow you to link documents and communications and costs to things like locations, materials or assets, and then contractual requirements as well. So I can actually tie it to a spec or a drawing. Now these references I can use to navigate around. The objective here is to capture information, rich, relevant data, and then allow the project team to operate their projects or execute their projects more efficiently. So for example, if I click on my clarifiers, I can go in and I can take a look at all the documents and communication. So I can see all the submittals here tied to this particular location, my clarifiers, and I can see things like RFIs and punch list items. The great thing about our capital project management tool is it allows me to link anything to these locations. And this is a huge benefit for my team in the field. You know, an inspector or a superintendent can very easily bring up a list of all the documents and communication related to that particular piece of work they're about to do an inspection or work on. And it's completely interactive. I can quickly drill down in these details and navigate around to the documents here in the system. We have those same capabilities with your major materials or assets, so I can asset tag everything. And this is going to help me during the project, especially when it comes to startup and commissioning. And then it's also going to be a huge benefit to the owner of this facility because I can turn in over all this asset tag data to their operations group and then they can bring it into their asset or operations system. Contractual references, these are great for the designers because typically when I receive a submittal, one of the first things I want to do as a designer is I want to take a look at all the other submittals and documents tied to it here in the system. And so I can see all the other submittals that have come in tied to this particular spec. Another thing too with the application is I won't be able to attach any type of content. You know, test reports, inspections, shop drawings, product plans, or product materials. With the Capital Project Management System, these files can be up to half a gig in size, and you can have an unlimited number of half gig files on a single one. Now the other unique innovation that we deliver is the ability to review and route these around to multiple reviewers. So if I bring up this other submittal, for example, I can see all the different comments here on the bottom. So I can go out to multiple reviewers, get multiple comments coming back in from those reviewers, and then I can select the official one. 
Whoever is responsible for coordinating the submittal comments can identify and merge those comments together and then share the official response back with the contractor. This way the contractor only sees the official submittal comments that goes back to the client on the project or back to themselves. And when we take a look at the audit trail, the beauty of going electronic is this is all done electronically for you guys. There's no manual intervention, nobody has to maintain an Excel spreadsheet, and it's a very robust audit trail, all the way down to the read by entries. So this way when my contractor turned in that information, they can tell when I read it here, who I passed it off to, the ball and courts, notes that were attached to it, it's all logged automatically here for you in the system. And it does it down to the second. So this is a very powerful tool in keeping the team honest and identifying if there's any claims do come up on the project, you know, what happened when, because there's a very robust audit trail behind it here for you guys. Now with Bentley's Capital Project Management System, we're not just managing the documents, but we also want to be able to tie it to costs. You know, one of the whole reasons why we manage documents and communications on projects is to be able to identify issues on the project, track those issues, and then try and mitigate the cost or schedule impacts. So within our Capital Project Management tool, we have what we call our risk item. And this risk item allows me to identify issues or risks on the project that could have a potential cost or schedule impact. And what's great is I can link these risk items to supporting documents and communication like the submittal, for example. Now these risk items are internal to my uh, organization. So this way my consultants can't see it, my contractors can't see it. This is a tool for me as an owner operator or a PMCM firm to track and control the risks and issues on the project. Even though this submittal is going to get exchanged with multiple participants and go around for reviews and comments, only, pe only my colleagues within my organization can see this risk item. If I drill down into the risk item, this is where I can take a look at the notes. So how's that risk evolved over time? So I can update this as I learn more about it. And then I can see all the documents and communication, the letters, the RFIs, the correspondence, the drawings, all impacting this particular risk item here. So it gives me a single view of that particular risk in the details. And then I can take those risks and I can roll it up into a risk register. So I can take a look here at my CIP program and I can see, okay, here's all the risk items for this particular program. Or I can filter this down and say, okay, let's just go take a look at my treatment plan upgrade. And so I can see here in the capital project management system my risk register and here's my forecasted days and dollars. Now these dollars will roll up against my financial reports throughout the finance module. So I can use this as a forecasting tool. So what's my potential cost impacts if all these risk items were to turn into change orders? And I can use a total value where I can see over here I've got a weighted value where I use the probability to calculate my cost impact. Now one of the great things about our system is you'll see down here at the bottom is I can actually configure these views. So every user has access to the risk register can actually come in and configure the columns and the layout here and how they want their risk register presented to them. I can also roll this up. So I'm right here at my project level. I can look at my CIP program, go to my Southwest Water Portfolio, and then take a look at all my portfolios. The great thing about our capital project management tool is it takes all that project level data and allows you to roll it up into programs and portfolios. Here in the top left, I'll see here's my treatment plan upgrade project. That rolls up in my CIP program to my Southwest Water Portfolio here. And it's very easy to drill down and filter it. Keep in mind a user's permissions will control what they have access to. So if I only have access to a project, all I'm going to see is project level data. Whereas if I'm a capital project manager or program manager, I'm going to see all the projects within my programs and portfolios. Now as I mentioned earlier, this risk information rolls up into our financial summaries. So I can take a look and I can forecast out potential cost impacts. And I can put those against things like my budgets. I can put them against my contingency budgets so I can have different types of budgets. And then my financial summary, I can look at things like payment applications, pending, retention, approved, change requests, and change orders here in the system. So there's my risk items. So it's a great way to forecast on this project. Now with these risk items, typically you're going to have one of two outcomes. Either you're going to mitigate that risk and close it out, or it's going to turn into a cost impact in the form of a change on the project. So within our capital project management system, I can actually track the changes here in the application. So what I can do is I can actually bring up a change request and the risk item that's related to as well. So I can see here I've linked my risk item number 63 to change order request number 7. So by being able to link the risk or the issue item that I was tracking, it gives me the ability to identify what the forecast was against the outcome. So this one I was forecasting at a $25,000 cost impact. My outcome ended up being a $20,000 one. So this is good. I was a little bit conservative with my risk forecast. If it was the other way around where I had a $25,000 forecast and it ended up being a $200,000 change, that's a big bust. 
Without the ability to identify those relationships, it's tough for my team to learn, right? I wanna make sure that the information I'm capturing is gonna allow my users to better forecast risk and understand what happened. Plus, I wanna understand the outcome of the risk as well. You know, how did I go from this forecast to the change on the project? And again, using our collaborative workflow engine, this is a collaborative process with the change orders. You know, depending on your process, we can configure the system where the change can be initiated from a contractor, it can come from a designer, the client, and then you can capture the scope of work and the cost proposals for that particular change or scope of work. Once I've captured that cost here in the system, then if I need to, I can run it through a two-step change order process where I can roll my cost proposals up into the formal change order, and I can route these around for electronic signatures or I can print them out on AIA or EJCDC or consensus docs forms. There's a lot of flexibility with these printouts. We can even do them for individual clients as well. This way I can go from digital signatures or if I'm still using wet signatures, I can print out on the form I need. The key benefit here is all this activity is occurring in the application so I can see real time exactly how my projects are performing. So things like pending change orders, pending pay apps are all managed here in the system. So for me as a project manager, all I have to do is review and approve. I don't have to rekey in the data that's coming in from other project participants. I can see real time exactly how the financials of my project are performing. And I can even take it a step further with those changes. So I can have my contractors and consultants submitting their payment applications to me through the application. This way again, I'm doing reviews and approvals here in the app to see exactly how the project is progressing. And I've got my base contract work, and then any change orders once they're approved become line items on the contract. And again, we can print this out to an industry standard form or a client specific form here in the app. The other thing about our finance module is not only can I do financial reports and risk and pay apps and change orders, but I can also report against funding sources. So I can manage the different pots of money here in the application, or the funding sources for a particular project or program. And I can take a look at my budgets coming out of those funding sources, you know, how much has been allocated to contracts, what's available and how much has been spent. And I can also set up my own budget codes here in the system as well. And keep in mind, these can be project specific budget codes, or they could be global codes across an entire portfolio or across your account. So you'll see there's lots of different ways to track your costs and expenses against those codes, and then summarize and report on that information. And all these reports are configurable by the users that have access to this information here in the application. Now another way that users like to report on information or consume those reports is through dashboards. So a lot of people like to see graphical information here in the system. So with the Bentley's Capital Project Management System, we provide a dashboard tool where you can actually build your own dashboards. So you can come into the application, we've got default ones to get you started, but you can pick and choose what content you want to see on your dashboard. You can also choose the level that you want to see it on as well. Do I want project, program, portfolio level dashboards? It's very easy to do here in the application. I can hit the customize button and I can simply come in and select different modules. You know, what type of information do I want to see? Do I want schedule information, document metrics, financial gauges? Uh, it's up to the user how they want to consume a dashboard, what types of information they want presented on it here in the application. The dashboards are also interactive as well. So for example, if I've got a project level dashboard here with my budget, and I want to look at the details of this $181 million budget, I can click on it and it'll take me down into my budget summary. So I can take a look at the amounts and the availables here on that summary. For my dashboards, I can also do things like search my entire project. So if I want to find everything on my project related to pipe, I can do that. And this search tool is not just going through the form data, but it's also going through the file attachments. So Word, PDF, Excel spreadsheets, we're looking for that word pipe for you here on the right-hand side. You also see with your dashboards, I can set up shortcut things to reports. So for example, if I wanna to go to an RFI pending log, I can launch that off my dashboard as well. And then I've got some gauges and graphs. So I can choose, do I want you know just numerical information on my dashboard or do I want some graphics to go with it? Again, it's up to the users how they want that information presented. The other tool that you'll find here on my dashboard is the scheduler. So if I want to bring up, say, a Gantt chart of the project, I can launch that off my dashboard. And what we're doing here is we're consuming either MS Project or P6 schedules. So you can import your schedule into the application. And this becomes a very easy to use tool for navigating around that project schedule. So I can search by activities. Say, for example, I'm a concrete inspector. All I care about is the concrete activities on the project. I can search for every activity with the word concrete in it. I can also show and hide the baseline and critical path here as well and I can configure my column layouts. You know, so what information do I want presented? Again, it's very easy for the users to configure the presentation and how do they want to consume the information here in the system. 
Now within the applications, we've talked about capturing all the information. One of the key things is making sure that we capture everything about this project. You know, we want to replace emails, we want to replace all the Excel spreadsheets, so we have a single source of truth. So all those general communications and correspondence, we want to run through the application. So for example, our memo tool is going to allow us to replace emails. And the big advantage here is I'm going to have that automated audit trail. So who did what when is going to be logged here in the history. I can easily link it to risk items, as I've got here. And then plus, everything I do is logged against the project. So all my project records are in one place. This is great for executing the project, as well as that long-term data retention. We've got the inspector daily reports. And this really complements the use of tablets in the field. Because with my daily reports, I can actually capture the information in the field that my inspectors are working on. So safety, visitors, environmental. The weather can automatically come in from a local weather station. And then I can have my detailed daily reports. So schedule of values, crafts, and pictures. And this is a great place for tablets because I can be captured in the pictures in the field. And you'll see here we've got a lot of functionality and capabilities for helping you guys manage the projects. So we can go through meeting agendas and minutes, project calendars, tasks and action items that we can assign to users and organizations. And then we can even set up custom tabs and forms, like a public contact form that you guys can fill out and track. Again, the key advantage to running it through the system is the ball and courts, the reporting capabilities here in the application. You know, I want to know exactly where every RFI is at any point in time. I can actually not just run reports, but everybody on my team can run reports. So my subs and suppliers and contractors. And the key differentiator here is they're only going to see data they have access to. So if I don't have access to RFI 42 here, for example, it's going to show up as not shared. And the RFIs you do have access to, I can drill down into. This way, everybody gets full features and functionality. I'm not just reducing costs for my own organization, but I'm reducing contractor costs, designer costs, consultant costs, and those costs roll up to me in terms of substantial cost savings as the owner or the program manager on this project. You can also do statistical analysis with this information. You know, what's the min and max turnaround? How fast is information moving on your project? To help you with your statistics, you want to take a look at things like alerts. So I can configure notifications here in the system. So I can say, okay, every time an RFI comes in, if it gets within two days of a due date, tell me about it. And this is great because software is excellent at monitoring this every single day. Instead of me as a user having to remember, hey, did I run my RFI log, you know, what's outstanding today? I'm going to rely on the application because it works 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And anytime anything meets my criteria, it's going to tell me about it. It can do it through an email notification or a dashboard alert as well. Now one of the really powerful tools about EDOC and taking all those relationships is what we call our relationship reporting tool. And what this does is it takes those links between the individual documents and communication and allows you to report on it. So for example, I plugged in my change order request number one. It shows me the change order it's linked to, the risk item that's tied to, all the documents and communication. And this is a huge benefit not just for doing general research or learning about an issue, but if you get into a claim situation. When you got to bring the legal counsel up to speed, I can very easily and quickly see all the documents and communication tied to this particular change on the project. Plus, it's interactive. I can drill down into the risk item and say, okay, what was the issue that we were tracking that turned into this change on the project? And then back to my report. So it's a very powerful tool, not just managing all this information electronically, but the added value of reducing risk, helping you guys defend against claims here in the application for you. Now this application is a pure web app, so all the users and organizations are accessing it through a browser. There's no software or hardware for you guys to log in. It's an unlimited user license, so you can bring on your entire project team. And it's geared to helping you guys reduce costs, better manage your projects, and helping you execute those capital projects. So for that, that's the end of my presentation.